What is good guys and welcome back. Yes, many of you ask me to publish more videos. I know I've been busy. Uh, it's the holidays. Uh, kids are uh, at home. I have to take care of things and I was in the uh, holidays outside my place so I couldn't uh, produce videos. The, the few free time I had was uh, dedicated to play this game because I want to support my alliance but now I'm back home. I still have the next week off so I will have plenty of time to produce content. I've been I, I didn't I wasn't lazy I just didn't have time okay so family comes first then I can play this game and then I can publish some video. Now we are still in the first day in Cairo. We've been burning UNA, uh, UN since we landed there. We not since we landed there, but since the level two four open. And now uh, it's around three or four a.m. I'm still playing because the next day or tomorrow is Saturday, so I don't have to worry about waking up early. And I'm doing my. Uh, favorite activity which is <laughs> burning bases all right so uh, there um, there's a, a, a free spot I found and I will take care of this guy right there it's not a strong base so I can solo him and the trick is to lose as few reserves as possible at this point i think i can burn him without losing a single troop so i want to make sure i won't do any mistake okay just gonna do some adjustment right there okay and i'm gonna tank this base he's only 173 million that may seem a lot to you but for me it's not i'm at 278 so 100 million above him even if he is fully buffed i didn't lose a single troop you know i enter okay so what is this guy doing right there either uh, th th this hbr guy is smart or I'm sorry, uh, that cyclone guy or cyclop guy is not too smart. When you do that, when your base is in truck mode, if you try to bomb it, okay, uh, with a Liberty Bomber, you will activate his base, okay? And if you do, then it becomes harder to burn him because if you want to try to use your artillery, uh, you will eat the aggro. So when you see this, do not attempt to bomb his base unless you are 100% sure the guy is AFK and he won't deploy his base. Besides that, leave him alone or try to tank his base, but do not use a Liberty Bomber. That is not a best plan. So I'm gonna wait until he, the aggro is, uh, is gone. And I could have burned this guy in one single run. Maybe lose one or two units, but that's not the point. I There's no rush. And I have all the time I need to burn him and don't uh, clean, meaning that I don't lose anything. So I'm going to try to tank him again, deploy my artillery. He's going to try to divert the aggro. I'm going to garrison back. I lost two artilleries, no big deal. I'm gonna finish the job. Right there, boom, bang. He teleported away too quick. Now back to base and there is one last man standing. So I'm gonna approach, approach him and my fighter is already deployed. You want to make sure when you approach a base that you have a fighter outside so if he attempt to bomb your troops and you cannot um, set up your base in time at least your fighter will try to chase away the bomber and you will end up making more kills now when you are in moscow san francisco cairo remember all the best alliances are in a single battlefield okay you may be surrounded by enemies you don't know look around make sure be smart
take your time there's no rush okay make sure that when you move your base uh, you're not in danger so once again this guy is a little bit stronger he doesn't have any buffs but his base is half a burnout so he shouldn't be uh, too much trouble to dispose there you go maybe I'll be lucky enough to have a few kills there you go so okay I lost one tank and maybe one how it's fine so okay here's the situation now we've bur been burning UN since the level 2 for open we didn't lose one single village but now they are resisting and props to them the main reason why I enjoy this battlefield is UN is a tough alliance okay they do not give up easily actually they do not give up at all so yeah they've been losing ground since uh, we assaulted them burning even those strong players no problem we've been smashing them but now they are on the rebound and they are resisting they try to recapture or uh, heal that village and more bases are dropping in so this is a neutral village we will try to I will try to approach them and burn some uh, inactive bases a bit outside of the action so I'm gonna try to reposition my base right there and I took the time to look around make sure that nobody is watching me maybe somebody is watching me maybe I have a tag on my base I don't know but you have to be careful okay this is not a level one two or three city many alliances are in a single battlefield there is a, a potential of 2,000 players on a single city so you have to be careful all right unless you don't care about your troops but I do so the difference between a professional and an amateur is the amateur will practice until he get it right the professional will practice until he cannot get it wrong I'm not saying a I'm a professional but you have to play like a professional like taking all the precaution make sure you can stay in the fight because your buddy will count on you so I'm gonna set up my base right there as close as possible to the action and you have to keep in mind friends I will be traveling in claim enemy claim land okay so anybody can ambush me or somebody may be watching me and waiting until I do a mistake so they will seize the opportunity to kill all my troops and if all my troops are gone then my base is uh, can be easily destroyed so I'm gonna try to sneak behind this guy he seems to be active because he's sending troops but he doesn't look like he's hundred percent in the game so I'm gonna pre-charge my artillery the main reason why I do this I'm gonna save that four second load time I'm gonna cut it to two seconds because remember the artillery the howitzer your reload is only two seconds approximately okay depending of how much tech you have so now this guy is getting back to base you won't make it in time to change the aggro so destroy this base I'm gonna get his troops right there oh that's beautiful so maybe that guy was driving doing something else I don't know he just gave me his troops as a as a gift thank you so that being said I'm gonna get back to base oh but I see another target now I'm getting deeper in enemy claim land so the danger is uh, is increasing so I have to make sure that I at least have a fighter deployed so nobody try to bomb my units or uh, crash my party now this player right there I know he's not a strong player his base is already pretty bad I mean not um, healthy and he got two or three units in base 
So I'm gonna pre-charge my artillery right there. I'm gonna save that four seconds load time. I'm gonna unleash the fury. Yeah, easy burn. Job well done. Clean. Okay, he ported. Now, this guy on your left, Raider Strike, I cannot solo him, he is much stronger than me. I will not even attempt to do anything, I have plenty of reserves, but, you know, uh, I'd rather keep them for a job that I can achieve, rather than just um, wasting my troops. Some players, I mean, even strong players, it's not because you are a strong player that you know how to play, right? When you're a whale, a strong player, any mistake you will do won't have much impact because uh, you're so strong that uh, you can get away with it, right? Um, but it, it, if you waste your troops, you don't care about them and you just send them wherever you they, wherever you want and they get all destroyed then sooner or later you won't have anything uh, left to send and to support your friends so I mean a powerful player that cannot play is useless so be smart play smart and that's how teamwork uh, goes right so I'm gonna try to get some fighter kills I'm getting better with my fighters, friend. Uh, I've been complaining that I'm, I'm nowhere near, uh, let's say, I'm a, I'm above, I would say I'm above average in terms of fighting force, but now I've been focusing on uh, this fighter and not right now, but uh, later on in the next video, you will see I have now a nine stars uh, fighter with all gold plus plus parts except the accessories so i'm gonna take care of those lost troops right there be careful of army groups even if you have a big tank a strong tank you are no match against uh, this big of a group you may do some damage but not enough to um to make it worth okay so this kind of job is better if you have a light tank right attacking just killing just a uh, very few units come back and then repeat harass them so now we're trying to stop them or um yeah stop them from healing this village they want to retake it they have a few big bays like Espo. We burned them earlier when the fort opened. But this guy, Raider Strike, yeah, he's a powerful guy. He got a strong base, he got some powerful units. Not quite sure if he used them properly. I don't want to say anything else, but. And speaking of Yuan, uh, they are from server 14, they came into this battlefield, the same coalition as TO Force, which are the most powerful alliance on this uh, whole game, in terms of, I mean, um, power, right? Are they the most powerful uh, in, in, in terms of combat? Because right now G27 from server 27 they may have a lower power on paper but they do have a lots of strong players i mean i think it's the alliance who have the most amount of whales when i say whales i say like um 400 million power and above players okay i'm at 200 70 270 millions and compared to a 400 millions i'm no match okay 400 million not the west 
Now we're gonna try to again attempt to burn this guy. We have full troops, no buff, so we may stand a chance. The issue is we did not commit enough or we did not have enough artillery to complete the job. So you will see we will fail burning him. We have we had plenty of players but not enough uh, players ready to go all in. The problem is when you you fail burning that guy now his base defense is activated the aggro is activated so it it becomes a dangerous situation and all the your, your friendly force around him will end up getting burned if they are uh, standing there doing nothing daydreaming so see how much uh, other troops we have that were not ready so that's the problem that is a, a, a miscommunication a lack of communication if we went all out we would have burned this guy and the next guy uh, the um, espo the next the guy next to it but since we uh, did not communicate well we missed the mark so i'm back at my spot now i'm going to try to move away Try to find another base to burn. I've seen a enemy army group nearby, so you have to be careful. All right, so do some small movement right there. So don't travel large distance, especially in that that type of scenario where enemy is lurking and you are near enemy claim land that is very risky you take your time there's no rush and then this group is moving okay so quick base set up your base so you don't get ambushed back in there you go so for a reason my howitzer is lagging okay <clears throat> now they failed to ambush me haha <laughs> i survived I'm going to try to chase this guy with a bomber. The MBT is not fast enough to give chase to anyone, so just in case they come back, I may burn one or, or more troops, but it's not the case. They're getting away. Back to base. I'm going to bring back my fighter as well. Are you happy with this map so far, friends? I know there's, uh, uh, I heard a lot of complaints about the slow pace, too much farming, too much dead time, not enough fighting. Um, so far, the, the, the comments are not in favor, are not positive. Now that we are fighting, that's fine, but it, it was not the weight, in my opinion. I don't think that I, I will want to play this map again, just because of the slow pace. Now, I believe that they fixed that village now. Okay, so what now we have an army group um, and our goal is to disrupt or uh, cause trouble. We're going to try to burn weak base just like this. Somebody is trying to save his friend or retaliate. Not enough forces to withstand our strength, I'm afraid. So he will melt. Boom, like this. He tried to bomb us as well. I have a fighter deployed, so they will lose quite a few aircraft. Now, this guy. We will also burn him. 
I will renew my troop expansion, expansion buff to have more things per march. Ah, 133 million. He's a baby. We can handle him. Easy. And only two troops inside. Kind of hard to see with the, the this base skin. By the way, I love this base skin. The only thing I don't like about this skin is I don't have it yet. Ooh, more, more troops coming. More enemies. I will stick around this group because they are doing uh, progress so far. I'm gonna tag this guy. I think we can handle him. Oh, and you see this guy? So look how quick he's gonna die. Boom! I'm gonna try to keep a distance because those helicopters, they are really dangerous. Um, they are really strong against tank. Helicopters counter tanks. Do not forget this. Even if he got a weaker unit than yours, if naturally, organically, he can, uh, he's, uh, he can, can, he can counter you. You have to be careful. Now, okay, there's too much. Okay, now the group is gone. I have to go as well. I'm getting chased by a bomber as well. Okay, so I have to train back. Only lost two units. Not bad. Okay, so another one versus one. I should be able to take care of him. Now I need my fighter support because I see a bomber and this could cause trouble. Uh, yep. But a friend is coming as well, so this is gonna be more difficult. It's a weaker unit. A third guy. Now I'm in trouble because one of his officers is stunning me. I'm immobilized and when I'm immobilized, I cannot get away. <laughs> Not a fan of this officer, whoever you got. Who is this? I can't see. Uh... Oh, okay, it's Bloody Mary? Uh, can it be? No, I think it's the bomber who's stunning me. Yeah, that's the thing. That's... He got El Cartero, so that's why I cannot move. So I'm going to try to save the few troops I have. I don't want to lose anything. At this point, might as well save uh, the few troops, uh, the eight 
units I have. Let's get back to base. Regroup, retrain. Yeah, we're gonna take this gun out. Kind of easy, it's not a powerful gun. We have many units on the ground. So look how fast this gun will get blown up. This guy decided that he didn't want to be part of this party. He's just gonna watch us destroy this um, base defense. Just like that, poof. I'm chasing a reinforcement. I'm disrupting their uh, reinforcement by shooting reserves toward their main battle zone. So I aim at those single units or pairs. It's not much, but it makes a difference when there's no more reinforcement and uh, the enemy cannot uh, continue fighting. So you, you do whatever you can from my position to try to help. I don't like to fight when there's too many people around. So these guys can handle this base all by themselves. I'm going to take care of this reinforcement right there. Boom. Easy. Another one coming. Just like this. So we're gonna look around, pan, left and right. Okay, one more. A truck, why not? Uh, kill the tank first because it's faster and then you can chase the truck. And what do we have here? A base truck. Did he see me? Doesn't matter, I don't see any troops around, so... Okay, he saw me. At this point, he's not a strong guy, I can handle him solo. With only one march. Okay, he's training, so he's aware. Now, in this situation, you have to think fast. First of all, do you want to stay in the fight? fight or flight if you want to stay in the fight what can you do to survive first of all use a bomber right you should have a bomber at least one second of all do the rapid training and you can use a buff um, a bastion of iron at least to um, slow down the burning now that's but you have to do this quick or else the more you wait uh, the, then it's not worth it. Why is he trucking down? Maybe he doesn't have a teleport anymore. So you have very few resources. And uh, yep, at least he saved his troops. So now when you think about it, it sounds logic. It's, it's common sense, but when you're in the middle of the, of the action and you don't expect it, that's when you have to uh, you need experience to make the right uh, decision if you want to stay in the fight. Maybe he didn't want to, so he didn't lose much, right? Maybe he said uh, to himself, I'm not going to bother wasting buffs or stuff. I'm just going to truck back uh, or wait or go to sleep, which I'm about to do because it's like I said, it's around 3 or 4 a.m. I'm super tired, but I'm still pumped uh, because we're having an awesome game. Not because so far we're winning against UN, but it's uh, it's very close between us, right? Uh, we're 
they have a less, uh, a little bit less players than us, and I'm not quite sure why they enter Cairo with uh, not a full alliance. Maybe somebody from UN can chime in, can can explain me why. Because S14, they have many members. Many members are migrating to S14, so I was surprised that uh, I, I've seen uh, to see an alliance with not. 255 members anyways if somebody knows and if you want to keep this as a secret by all means you can talk to me and I swear I won't tell anyone anyways so yeah I'm gonna keep killing those reserves and yeah like I said this battleground is a lot of fun because it's very close between us I mean we're almost the same power and uh, it's intense battle right they're not hidden in their safe zone. They're close to, but still, they're, 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 uh, they try to stay in the fight. Uh, they're not giving up. They have some strong players. They have a lot of activity. That's why it makes this um, uh, map uh, enjoyable, despite all the, the annoying thing about Kara. And now, when you're annoying people, they want to eliminate you. And they are burning me. They probably said that it was enough, so they want to get rid of me, and I'm gonna try to teleport and not lose too much troops, which I almost did. Not the cleanest getaway, but at least I saved a few. So that's it for today, guys. Stay tuned. Um, there will be more content give me time but like i said i have the week off so i will pump more content for you to enjoy stuff like this and many more uh, take care guys and uh, stay healthy